What's going on guys and welcome back to our YouTube fishing family to AFNS Outdoors. I'm Justin Lewis and today we are in beautiful South Dakota for the first time ever. Honestly, we got tired of driving north. We were like, why not drive west? So today I have my dad with me, kind of a father and son excursion. We are in search of some South Dakota yellow gold. That is the goal for today. I'm using the truck to kind of break up the wind here, but we already have the shack set up. Shack is right there. Dad's inside fishing. He has already caught a walleye. I have already caught one yellow perch. We've been out here for a couple hours. Um, this is actually our second spot on the day. We set up on our first spot, fished for about an hour. We did not mark anything. Moved to our second spot. Uh, mark some fish and I immediately within 10 minutes caught the biggest yellow perch that I've ever caught. Uh, pinch the tail, I, I think it can touch that 13 inch mark, um, but it is super fat, nice, giant, tall fish. Um, huge circumference on it. So uh, super excited about it. We're trying to get some more. Uh, also gonna go punch some holes. We're gonna put up a couple tip ups. We're, uh, we're just in a big basin here on this lake. Um, it's a pretty well-known lake and obviously a pretty well-known spot. So there's going to be quite a few of us um, around here today, but I think that's going to be all right given the amount of fish that we're already marking. I think there's going to be plenty of action, I hope. So that's the goal for today is we are going to be chasing after some South Dakota gold and we are looking forward to it because we have never really gone after some jumbo yellow perch through the ice. So if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at AFNS Outdoors. And hopefully we're going to find a lot of fish, get them topside for you guys. So that's the plan. That's the goal. They must run some kind of resort out here. I see a bunch of those track vehicles going around. Got him. Please be a perch. Please be a perch. It is. Holy, <laughs> it's huge. There are so many people around us, there's really no point. <clears throat> this thing is a stud. What's he gonna go out to? Over 12. Over 12. Almost 12 and a half. 13 almost. Pinch the tail. Yeah. He's gonna touch 13. Wow. We'll get a tape on it in a minute. We'll, we'll get the good camera, but. That is the first fish of the day. Look at this, look at the size of that thing. All right, I gotta get the camera. I'm gonna put the GoPro down. I'm working on yours and mine, and so I don't know which one they're on. See now, like, uh, now there's two. It's a good red line. Get him. Got him. Nice. Okay, so this one is not yours because this one is still on mine. Come on, let's Ooh, get this, a. This is a nice one. Good. Move your deucer out of the way. I will. Get to it. Come on, let's get a double. What'd you get? Oh, walleye. it's a walleye. Is it a walleye or a sauger? It's a, it's a walleye. Is it? Nice. Not necessarily the target species, but. Hey. Little walleye. Where's Walter? I found him. <laughs> oh, fish, 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 fish. 
see the white tail? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I see him. He's marking over here. I know. These aren't real aggressive, though, so I'm wondering if these are little walleye. Good. It's that big perch. There was no, no hesitation in that perch. Oh, we got a flag. Yep. <laughs> He's there. Yep. Sweet. Feels semi decent. What you want to eat? There you go. Just bring back a minnow. Don't you think that's a keeper? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to keep some, might as well. Go get the flag. Come on. Come on. One of these get it. One of these get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him. Got him. We are on. Please be a perch. Please be a perch. Feels heavy. Feels heavy. 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 No, it's a walleye. It's a decent one though. Yeah. He's small and skinny. But it's all right. That's all right. About a 14, maybe 14 and a half. 14 and a half on the dot. Not bad. Still looking for some more perch. Still only got the one big one though. Did you miss it? You suck. Don't worry, I'll get this one. Oh, you want to look at it? This, I'm sure you missed the last one. See, I don't know why you have such a hard time with this. I don't know either. Decent walleye. He's just a baby. He's going back. Okay. I'll bring him in here. Get out of here. Go. It sounds like a chainsaw. That's what I thought. You spear pike in 15 feet of water? Probably. Sure can. It's just not that clear. All right, guys. So a little bit of an update from inside the shack. Haven't been doing a whole lot of recording with the big camera inside due to conserving some space. Space is at a premium <laughs> with more than one person. This spot has been good to us. We've had a pretty decent morning so far here in South Dakota. So we've only had two yellow perch come through. Um, haven't had haven't gotten dad on one yet. Haven't gotten dad on a big yellow perch. We got him his first yellow perch last month in Minnesota. His first ever yellow perch, but it was only like an eight inch yellow perch. So I'm not even sure it really counts, but we've got, he's shaking his head no. Oh, we got a flag. All right, you go get it. I'll do this. Oh, it's spinning like crazy. I'll follow you. It's spinning like crazy. This is what happens. Anytime you try to get something done, Jacket. Did you get him? Nope. No? No. How'd you miss it? I don't know. Alright. You missed it. You gotta reset it. Oh, he is spearing. 
Minnow. Swing and a miss. Yeah. <laughs> Hook sets are free, which is good. Otherwise, we'd all be broke. So, as you guys can tell, we're we're on fish, which is which is good. I mean, we're uh, that was kind of the whole point was to uh, to get Dad up here, get him out, and uh, just spend some time together. So we're having a good time. But um, part of it was we we really wanted to come out and, and get on some big yellow perch, which I have not done personally through the ice, which was something I wanted to do. Um, we looked at taking some guides and stuff like that. Um, but I kind of like doing things on my own, so that's how we kind of ended up over here in South Dakota. We've had a lot of walleye. Um, they're still pretty small. They're, you know, anywhere from that, um, I think our smallest walleye has been, you know, like 11 inches. Um, everywhere from about 11 to, I think, 16 inches is about the biggest walleye that we've had. We've kept a couple of those so far um, for table fare. And then we've kept two yellow perch, the two yellow perch that I've caught so far. So like I said, we've got two yellow perch so far. Um, I've been fortunate enough to catch both of them. Uh, I'll show you the small one first. It was actually the second one I caught. So this is why I came up here and by any means, this would be considered a very nice perch for me pretty much anywhere I fish. This would be a big perch for me pretty much any day. But this was my first fish of the day. And it is just an absolute tanker of a yellow perch compared to this one which i would have considered good but i got this one so give you guys a look at this guy it is just super tall a super tall fish look how small that fish's head is you can tell how fast these fish are growing super awesome the stripes on it are just absolutely beautiful solid black stripes the yellow just offsets those dark stripes so well. Orange fins, a pound and a half, about a pound and a half. Pound and a quarter, pound and a half, yeah. yeah. It's, it's solid, it's thick. Look at the shoulders on that thing. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's probably a pound and a half perch at 13 inches. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm having an awesome day. We've got a couple gold nuggets and we're doing pretty good. So hopefully you guys are enjoying, but there's gonna be more to come. I said it was running. runs oh yeah oh yeah oh it's pike is it oh it's about a 10 pounder oh, oh. <laughs> you said you wanted a pike yeah oh it might be better. get it get it you need 10 pounds but nope. it's not a pike <laughs> Right in the corner of the mouth. It's got their broke off hook in him. He's he done broke off once. Huh. You can go ask them if they want their hook back. Did you guys use a little red hook? But one just fell out. Oh, it's down his down his gullet. Oh, is it? Yeah, it fell down. Give me your pliers. I can grab it still. You can take him in real quick. Grab a and take a picture. Yeah, I want a picture of this. All right, you can put it back. Head first, let's go, it's cold. You gonna freeze. Here we go. Nice. Get your head down. You want me to edit that part out or? No, that's okay. <laughs> Get your head down. Just want to put his head, he flipped back up this way. Yep, now the GoPro turns on. <laughs> oh, it's all right. At least he got up here. Yes. I knew he didn't feel as big as the other one, but missed him once and he came back for it. That was awful nice of you, buddy. You ain't as big as the other one, but man, they are pretty. I love those orange fins. Can you imagine like a bunch of these in an aquarium? It'd be so awesome looking. This lake is just producing big fish. All right guys, so we are back at the hotel. There is no overnight challenge going on tonight, 
we got a hotel no sleeping in the shack or in the truck which is probably a good thing because it is ridiculously cold here in south dakota and we're going to be cleaning some of the fish we did take our limit of walleye so we're going to be having a nice walleye fish fry um, but ended up day one south dakota trip ended up pretty well i think you think absolutely so had a good time got on a lot more walleye than we were anticipating um like i said brand new ball day water never been to south dakota before so we didn't really know what to expect um but ended up being a lot more productive than anticipated so especially with the walleye the perch not so much i still think we're gonna have to move around a little bit tomorrow to find some perch uh but that one jumbo really was kind of phenomenal for me so i'm pretty happy as far as that's concerned but uh we did keep one other really nice perch and let one smaller one go and then Dad's Pike. Dad's Pike was awesome, so he really enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed part one of our South Dakota excursion. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We've got new videos out every single Thursday, and you are not going to want to miss part two tomorrow. I don't even know what's going to happen yet tomorrow, but you're not going to want to miss it. Also, Check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at AFNS Outdoors. And as always, thank you to our YouTube fishing family, our subscribers for watching, for being here, supporting us. We greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in yet again to AFNS Outdoors. We appreciate it. And until next time, until next Thursday, take care.